Signs and Symptoms of Heart Disease and What to Do The heart is one of the most vital organs of the body. It is primarily made up of muscles and is responsible for pumping blood to all parts of your body. The health of your heart plays a vital role in your overall well-being in life. But what if the normal functioning of the heart is disrupted? Heart disease is a condition or set of conditions that disrupt its normal functioning. Heart diseases may include arrhythmias, hardening of the arteries, congenital heart defects, heart infections, and much more. Though heart problems occur due to different causes, some signs and symptoms are relatively common. Breathlessness is amongst the most common symptoms of heart diseases. Many cardiovascular problems can cause difficulty in breathing also known as dyspnea. Shortness of breath may occur during activity or rest, depending on the cause. This is caused by the heart's inability to empty and fill with blood, leading to increased pressure in the lung's blood vessels. When you can't breathe in your lungs to their standard capacity, you experience dyspnea. Altered heartbeat is also common in people with cardiac issues. Our heart beats 60 to 100 times per minute on average. Excess heartbeat over 100 beats per minute without any physical exertion is known as tachycardia. Heartbeats lower than 60 beats per minute are called bradycardia. The most common cause of altered heartbeat is a dysfunction of the sinoatrial node, also known as the heart's natural pacemaker. Heart diseases disrupt the electrical impulses generated by the SA node, causing heart rate problems. Many people experience shoulder pain due to heart diseases. Though shoulder pain can occur due to multiple reasons, the pain due to cardiac issues is experienced in the left shoulder and radiates to the jaw and neck. If it is accompanied by breathing difficulty and chest tightness, it may be a symptom of a heart attack. Heart pain is referred to the shoulder, neck, and sometimes abdomen because pain signals often travel from the same nerve pathways in the spinal cord and the brain. Chest pain is a common symptom of heart disease. It may feel like squeezing pressure on your chest. People with heart diseases feel chest discomfort because their heart muscles do not get enough oxygen-rich blood due to the low blood flow or blocked vessel. This is often caused by a buildup of plaque on the inner walls of your arteries. Chest pain is common in conditions like angina and heart attack. Lightheadedness and fainting can also be a manifestation of heart diseases. Heart problems alter its normal functioning. As a result, your heart is unable to pump blood to all parts of the body optimally. A drop in blood pressure and lack of oxygen may lead to feeling lightheaded or fainting. Heart diseases can cause symptoms like cyanosis or blue discoloration of the skin and mucous membranes. This occurs when enough blood does not supply parts of your body due to cardiac issues. The main areas affected by cyanosis include the lips, tongue, feet, hands, and the membranes inside your mouth. People with cardiac issues often develop swelling and edema in the legs, abdomen, or eyes. When the heart does not function properly, blood can back up in your legs and ankles, causing edema. Increased pressure in the hepatic veins can cause fluid accumulation in the abdomen as well. Additionally, a weak heart is unable to supply sufficient blood to the kidneys. Consequently, kidneys get affected and cause water retention, causing swelling and bloating. Do you feel quickly tired upon little activity or stay fatigued most of the time? It may be due to heart problems. Since the heart cannot work efficiently in a diseased state and the blood supply is not optimal, you start feeling fatigued more than usual. Fatigue is amongst the most common symptoms of congestive heart failure. Heart infections may result in symptoms like fever. These symptoms usually occur within two days of infection and may result in permanent heart damage. Fever from infections occurs because your body tries to fight off the culprits by raising its temperature. Some people also experience fever after heart attacks, mainly due to the inflammatory process following heart damage. Various tests can help to diagnose cardiac issues and diseases. Your doctor may begin with questions about your symptoms, medical history, and family's medical history. If the signs and history suggest cardiac issues, your doctor may conduct laboratory tests and an electrocardiogram. The laboratory tests include blood tests that determine the risk for heart diseases. Chest x-rays, cardiac CTs, and MRIs can be helpful to create and study detailed images of the heart and analyze the extent of damage caused by the disease. 
Treatment for heart diseases depends on the type you suffer from. Your doctors may prescribe medications to manage your symptoms. If drugs don't seem to be enough, your doctor may recommend surgical procedures depending on the diagnosis and extent of cardiac damage. Coronary artery bypass grafting, or CABG, is the most common type of heart surgery. If your heart does not seem to regain its function, you may need a heart transplant. Lifestyle changes play a huge role in improving or even preventing cardiac issues by keeping the heart healthy. Unhealthy habits like smoking pose a severe risk to your heart's health. Therefore, quitting smoking is often advised to people with heart problems. Additionally, keeping a check on your blood pressure is also recommended. Maintaining weight and avoiding a sedentary lifestyle can lower the risk of developing cardiac issues. If you have heart problems, lowering your sodium intake can prove to be beneficial for your health. Low-fat and cholesterol diets also keep you fit and your heart healthy. Besides food and exercise, psychological problems like stress and anxiety also affect your heart. So, managing stress, practicing meditation, and adopting a healthy work routine can help you stay healthy. If you suffer from psychological problems, you can get therapy from professional psychotherapists. Always remember, it is never too early to adopt a healthier attitude and lifestyle.